Hello and welcome to another bad comic review. This time we are looking at Space Lady issue 1. This is a 2022 book from Behemoth written and drawn by Ashley Warwick and it's about a woman named Space Lady who apparently is a drunk. She decides not to go fight crime so she can stay in bed a little longer on her spaceship which is shaped like a rectal sex toy. So the ship deploys some robots that go and kill bad guys even disguising themselves as minions of the bad guys and then doing their job well space lady wakes up about halfway through the issue and meanders around and the robots become a sentient life form i guess in a robot body and then there's a sort of fight and then it's resolved i don't know what this was but it's not a comic book there's no introduction to any of the bad guys there's no real introduction to space lady i don't know anything about her it doesn't tell me anything about her other than the fact that she's drunk and that she wants to stay in bed i learned more about the robots they do all the work in this issue so uh, i don't know it, this is boring it wasn't funny it wasn't particularly well drawn it's got that kind of over exaggerated indie art that you see with a lot of like fanzines from the 70s and that is kind of a trend with some of the indie real real indie books that are going around it's not a style i like i kind of hate it i think it's disproportionate and the artist really really needs to work on perspective shots because almost every pla panel is flat and boring looking the one or two panels Panels that aren't just like static and, uh, and have some degree of angling and perspective are very misproportioned. The artist has almost no sense of anatomy, which makes the main character look like she's a pointed head through most of the book. I, I do not like anything about this. This looks like a webcomic from the old days of webcomics, where it's written in brief installments and is supposed to be quirky and cute. But I don't know who the audience is here. This isn't even a coherent story. So I would say avoid this this was really bad trash it's definitely not worth four bucks covers boring doesn't tell you anything about the character or the book just that she has a kind of a weird costume i don't know what this is but it's not very good so i would say pass on this one this is just a waste of time and money if you're into really indie cutesy web comics maybe it'd be for you but if you're looking for any kind of interesting storytelling or adventure you're not going to find it here there is some action and violence but it's so misproportioned and the panels are flat and boring i can't recommend it based on anything i saw in the book so i would say this is a massive disappointment for me that's gonna do it for this one thank you so much for listening and supporting the channel if you enjoyed the video please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss future reviews if you'd like to help the channel out in other ways links are in the description to various support methods and as always we hope to see you on the next one